Hey, 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 what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Kwan, and I'm here to let you all know what happened during round one of the playoffs in our Avio's Finest Yahoo Fantasy Football League. That's right, it is playoff time, and that's what I'm talking about. If you didn't make the playoffs, I'm sorry. You always got next year, okay? Now, I'm not going to waste any time. Let's get into the battle and let you know what the deal is. First off, just as a reminder, the top two teams in the league, Death Mobile's team and the Blue Wall, both have bye weeks. You know, okay? So last week, they didn't have to go against anybody. They just sat back easy like and watched everybody else play to try to see who was going to go up against them this week. Okay? Now, the matchups from last week are as follows. We had Too Hot for TV going up against Show Me the Money. And Too Hot for TV turned up that flame, baby, came out with the victory. 135 to 94. Okay? Key players in this matchup, DeMarco Murray for Too Hot for TV, 34 points. Show Me the Money had T.Y. Hilton, who had 32 points. But I think where his downfall came is that his number one asset, number one player, Peyton Manning, decided to have an off week and only get him four points. He also had Andre Johnson, who got him one point, and Alfred Morris, who got him one point. If it weren't for that, I might be singing a different song right about now, but <laughs> I'm kind of happy with the song I'm singing. So let's move to the next matchup. We've got the Rattlesnakes. They went up against Dallas Wings. Scotty Dubois did his thing again. Takes out Dallas Wins. 166 to 96. Now, Dallas Wins had Jordy Nelson going into Monday night. And even with those 29 points, it still was not enough to even come close to catching Rattlesnakes. Who also had someone going in Monday night? A.K.A. Aaron Rodgers, who got him 39 points. So even if they were tied and it went into Monday night, Aaron Rodgers would have still came through and helped Rattlesnakes with the victory. Okay, so now we're moving into round two of the playoffs this week, week 15, and these are the matchups. We've got number one ranked Death Moguls team going up against the Rattlesnakes, number four in the league. And as of right now, the projections show that it's going to be a close one. Death Mogul's team is projected to get 123 points, and Rattlesnakes are projected to have 122 points. And, oh, Death Mogul's team, I was told to let you know from Scotty Duwop, coach of the Rattlesnakes, that he's coming to get you. Ooh, this sounds like a threat to me. Sounds like a threat. I don't know if Death Mogul... Is just chilling, smiling on the side, or what? Because he has been blazing against everybody this year. So, we'll see what happens. And maybe Scotty Duwop can knock him out. Make it a little easy for me. Mm -hmm. Anyway, now, the second matchup we have for round two of the playoffs. Number two, the Blue Wall, going up against number three, Too Hot for TV. And the projections where they stand as of right now, the Blue Wall is registered and projected to get 120 points and two hop a TV is only projected to have 102 points I don't know why I don't know why uh, I gotta fix that I'm gonna work on that okay either that I'm gonna have to have my boys show out you know what I'm saying in the game when it comes down to Sunday okay so we know what's about to happen round two of the playoffs you all know what it is you know what we're fighting for. Everybody's trying to get to that Super Bowl. After this week, we'll find out who is going to go to the big dance, baby. I will check you all next week. You know with the video recap. You know how I do. I'll check you then. Peace.